Welcome back to Rome Total War, The Barbarian Invasions, where we are about to enter a new world, guys. A new age, should we say. The Age of Peace. Or rather, that's what I want to be saying, because that's where we are almost at if it weren't for these Huns that are plonked here in the middle of our territory and they just won't go away. So, at the end of last episode, we unfortunately lost a pretty good general, Oppius Flavius, who inherited the name Flavor Flav from a previous incarnation of the Sir Rome series. Check that out if you haven't. And in his place, we have got his successor, the uh, man of the hour, Tertius Nigidius, who has a questionable, maybe not quite allowed to pronounce his surname just yet, but we'll see, it's the old world. And he's going to be holding this bridge, the bridge that was held by Oppius Flavius, and before him, I, I think probably before him, old Gratianus the Lily Livered, who is now Gratianus the Coward, who is now Gratianus the the Televangelist up north. But anyway, old Tertius here is going to be holding this bridge, or at least trying to, from the uh, from the Huns. Now the Huns, we've done a fair decent job in uh, putting a stop to them. We've uh, we, yeah, we, we've taken down stack after stack of theirs in total because they are coming at us in these kind of bits and bobs and drips and drabs kind of forces, but they do still have this here, which is not nothing. And they do still also have this here, the faction leader, Kandak. The faction leader actually killed Oppius Flavius in their last engagement. It did cost him his army, but yeah, I think uh, on the whole he, he won that engagement, well he literally did win that engagement, but uh, he came out on top because he took out a uh, an up and coming cool general. Anyway, this turn, I think we are going to be Chipping away once more at the Huns, maybe we can deal with them once and for all, we'll see. But in order to do that there, we're going to have this chapo here, Petronius Palmer, who's tired, who's sick and tired of playing, sitting and waiting and playing computer games in a fortress. He wants some action, so we're going to give him some action. Let's go. I'm going to need you to take out these guys. Captain Caraton, 700 odd men on horses who are silver chevroned and who might hurt, but you've got more men with better weapons, and better armor, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll, we'll see, let's go. Yeah, I mean, this, this should be pretty straightforward, right? Should, being the operative word? Let's see. Don't let me down, Palmer. That's all I'm saying, just, just don't, just don't embarrass us. All right, let's see what old Petronius can do. They plonk themselves on something of a hill. And I was a bit worried that, uh... Oh, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, come on, are you freaking serious? Are you freaking serious? My horses have run already. Yeah, I was a bit worried that we'd be fighting in the, um, in the woods. Thankfully, no. Okay, good start. Right, there goes the general, he's being kited off. Can we uh, use volume of fire against these guys? Like, is that... Okay, that's the captain over there. That's good. We've separated him from his... Basically, his army. And uh, we are dealing some good work to these guys. I mean, as good work as we can be, considering they're freaking silver chevron. Excellent. Excellent. But the thing is, they are making us work for it. Okay, where are our... I'm, I had some other horse around. There they are. Okay, they're playing with those guys. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Oh, no, 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 Spearman, get get away from there, get away. No, no, actually, they're running. Actually, yeah, lay into them. Let's go, carry on. Carry on. Okay, there comes the Generalissimo. And this is not looking like a good, uh, a good situation for them. Let's get into that General. There we go. Great gods be praised. The enemy general. All right, good stuff. 
Is that it? Have they? They okay. They've broken those guys. Yeah, my horse are making them run away. But I, th I think effectively it's done. So yeah, let's. Uh, so we see we. Yeah, we lost eight percent. That's not too bad, actually. You know, I'll, I'll have that. that. That's pretty good. For his first engagement ever, Petronius, not bad. Not bad. I wonder if we'd done, if he would have done as well had that been a general rather than a captain. But now we'll never know. You damn straight you get glory for that. Now the good thing is here, yeah, I've got some units here that can be used as a uh, as reinforcements, so that's all jolly good. So let's put you, uh, let's put you around here on the paved road, and there are, yeah, let's just get a couple of um, reinforcements from here if we can. Okay, overall good start. Now let's see. We're really gonna have to see which way the um, the Huns decide to go. If they come this way here, towards Old Tertius, then we might have to back away as much as we can. But uh, if they come this way, towards Old Petronius, then that could be interesting. So yeah, we will have... Actually, hang on, can we... We can't even afford a fortress. Yeah, we're really gonna have to see what they do. Anyhow, let's end the turn and yeah, see what they do. Okay, so the piece that we managed to get last turn is uh, with the Eastern Romans. Well, the... The Byzant Byzantines, the Byzantiums, and it, it, okay, it, just hear me out, right? It's a calculated peace. We know that we're not really going to be at peace with them forever. They probably know that as well, but it just gives us a little bit of time, because amidst all this here, you guys can see what's going on up north. The Burgundians are. Uh, I, I have no idea what they're doing. They're just they're loafing around. Let us end the bloodshed. Now nah, I don't have a problem fighting these guys. Until next time. I have no problem fighting them. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay, this is these are the guys who wanted to. Huh. Um. We might have to pull back. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull back. We've got a general on the way over there. When we get him, then... Okay, in fact, I think we'll do that straight away. So, uh, who's... You guys. Lay siege. Like so. General can come and join you. We'll get a proper set of units here. Let's get, um... Yeah, one unit of horse should do. Oh, hang on. Grail Knights. Oh, you guys know how I feel about Grail Knights. You guys know how I feel. But they're so expensive. And I have other things I need to build. Oh, do I do it? To hell with it, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm blowing half my cash on Grail Knights. Oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be worth it. You idiot rebels. You had the chance to surrender nicely, but yeah, now you're gonna die at the hands of Jovius Flavius and some Grail Knights. Ho oh, ho, you idiots. Okay, let's uh, take a look around here. Marseille's doing well. You guys are doing well, converting to Christianity nicely. So basically, all here, all of Western Europe is now Christian, with the exception of um, Tribus Alemanni, which is slowly going Christian. Yeah, inevitably. So that bit is all well and good. Now, all of these things, turning everything Christian, is going to make Berdigala want to go Christian as well, which is good. And then we can slowly fo start focusing on Taraco. Yeah, this place is going to be a tough one to crack. Uh, Carthage Nova is Christian, well done, Cordoba. Then the next one is going to be Salamantica. Now, the thing about Salamantica is... I mean, we could... it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough simply because the governor is himself pagan. Now, let's hope he doesn't have any kids on the way, because when they come out, they're going to be coming out pagan as well. So we're going to have to think about how we do that.
Okay, back here in the west. I'm deciding what to do with old Petronius. I'm thinking it might be time to put him back on a crossing. If I can tempt the uh, Huns to come out and meet him on the field, then that might be the way to, uh, to get to these guys. Meanwhile over here, old Tertius, this army could use a little bit of a retrain. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, and maybe now might be the time to get these guys back to Sirmium. Give them a quick retrain, and then get these guys back out into the field again. Uh, why, why can't I... What else are we building that is taking out my money? Yeah, okay, that, uh, that should do it. Alright, then let's see what the Huns decide to do now. Remember, we need to take these guys down before we can really consider doing much else. Uh, so let's... No, no, no one's writing, no one's writing, we're absolutely fine, let's go. Okay... Do we need to keep an eye out? See, these Burgundy... They're a little bit of a concern to me. Because they're just loafing around up in Germany, and it doesn't look like they're fighting anyone. If they did, that would be great, but if not, or rather if they picked on someone weak, or even too strong, and it made them have to migrate south into my territory, then that would be also bad. So yeah, these are just some of the considerations. Okay, they're, they're going in the opposite direction. Wow! No, this is... Is this good? This is kind of good. Maybe. Just about. Annoying rebels. Annoying rebels. Yeah, okay, so maybe this is... Oh, I don't know, this is... That's like... At least two generals there. It's a captain. And another general. Three generals, all in one area. Because I've seen that Tertius has stepped out of uh, his amazing spot on the bridge. Now, I'm thinking, my guys, you're going to have to go back there. So, yeah, guys, you're going to have to head back onto the bridge. Uh, just drop, drop the taxes a smidge. Like, could now be the time. If we fight this guy, what's he going to do? He's not going to stand and fight. He's going to be pushed back this way. Then what? What if we put a... Now, if we put a fort down, they're just gonna circle around this way. Petronius doesn't have Night Fighter yet, so we can't... We can't basically kite one of them and stop him pulling reinforcements in. See, basically, we attack this guy, he's gonna fall back. We're gonna come into this guy. We attack this guy, he's gonna be pulling in the, uh, the faction leader. And I don't think I can take them both on. I mean, maybe I can. Hang on, we, if we smash these guys before these guys come in... Can we? This, I mean, maybe. Tertius could. Oh, I don't know, I've got a lot of questions here. Okay, I'm gonna think about this, right? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put a pin in this, and I'm gonna come back to it, okay? Just, just remind me. Let's take a look at something a little bit more civilized, here in Bodegala. So, what can we do here? Oh yeah, this is gonna be simple. This is gonna be simple. Uh, no, we don't want a knife fight. Do we auto it, though? I've just got peasants. I do just have peasants. Well, uh, hang on, 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 hang on. Nope, wooden walls. Yeah, we're, we're going in. And I'm reminded that we have Grail Knights, and when Grail Knights are on the field, we show Grail Knights on the field. Okay, the walls are down. And the gate is down. Let's get in there and see some peasant-on-peasant -peasant action. Is this gonna be cool? Is this gonna be interesting? Or is this just gonna be... like... 
I don't know, you know when you watch like two old people fight, is this gonna be like that? Holy, they're, they're, they're routing my guys, what the hell, what the hell? Okay. Alright, time to send in the Grail Knights. Oh yeah, okay, you guys asked for it. You wanna fight some friggin' Grail Knights? Here we go, son, here we go. Look at that, peasants. Well, okay, I mean, my peasants running doesn't really mean much. They are peasants. Let's hope these Grail Knights get a decent charge on the go. Come on, guys, come on. Lance is down. Lance is down. Lance is down. Guys, come on. What was that? Okay, but you are wrecking these peasants. No surprises there, really. And I suppose that's not really a sign of an achievement. Like, you wrecking peasants, that's... I mean, I, I would hope that you wrecked them. They're like the weakest unit in the game. I'd, I'd certainly hope you did. Okay, there we go. They start running. In fact, I might even get my general in here. Because all of these peasants, wrecking them, it's like free experience. Okay, there's the general behind him. Maybe stay away from them, because I'd like the general to come in. Okay, general on general action time, let's go. Right, our general is not looking too hot. We got him though. The enemy general is killed. Oh yeah. Makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Come on, let's take out these peasants. And then let's get in here. In fact, I'm gonna pull my general out just to, just to be on the safe side. Oh man, look at these Grail Knights. Silver level now. Aren't they magnificent? Okay, I'm gonna to have to be very, very careful, because these guys can hunt my general down. You guys, get onto the town square if you ple please. Yeah, my general is pretty tough, but got to be careful. He's, he's definitely taken some knocks. Let's just have the the Grail Knights deal with deal with this guy. God damn, these guys are really out for blood, aren't they? Oh yeah, just look at these guys go. Look at Grail Knights. How cool are they? Okay, they've won us the city. Yeah, and now it's just a case of a running down the clock. Let's go. Or waiting for the enemy to uh, rout. I'll have my Grail Knights go and intercept what's left of this bodyguard unit. There we go. There we go. Okay, Bertigala is ours once again. Hmm, now... Yeah, I might as well exterminate. Okay, now I thought we were trying to go Christian here, weren't we? Yeah, so let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that again. So repair, and we'll build a chapel this time. Uh, and, and, and an academy, why not? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, now we're getting there. Man, honestly, those Grail Knights are awesome. They, they won that victory for us, for sure. Although, Jovius, jo, Jovianus Flavius, he's, he's done a pretty decent job as well, though. Can't, uh, can't take away credit from him. Okay, so now it's just Arle. And then, yeah, we're, we're, we're really getting there now. We are really getting that. Okay, so the kingdom is looking good. The, the the empire is looking pretty good. Which brings us over here. Okay, Petronius Palmer. I'm thinking we can't keep playing defensively. Like, these Huns know exactly how to push our buttons or know how not to. Like, when we place ourselves in a defensive position, they know how to circle around, waste our time, and just 
the stuff's getting a bit expensive, to be honest. So we do need to kind of beat them via a decisive victory. And I think this could possibly be it. So we're going to fight this guy, or dig it. He's going to probably run away, which is fine, because then we're going to land into this guy, Captain Tuman. And if we can destroy his army, possibly before the general comes in, or Kandak, then all the better. If not, then we plonk ourselves in a nice defensive position and prepare for a massive slugfest. The name of the game is killing, ideally him, definitely him, and the other guy that he's got there as well. Because when the, the general is dead, when the faction leaders are dead, and the faction heir, and the other um, warlords, then the Hunnic forces should disintegrate. So let's do it. Petronius, it's all on you now, buddy. This is what we've been waiting for. He's gonna stand and fight. He's gonna stand and fight. I mean... Okay. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. So, we can absolutely wreck this army. In the follow-up one, Captain Tumen. They've got like, what, one, two horse archers? And the rest, like, heavy cav. Heavy, heavy, heavy cav, and some spearmen. We can totally do this. We can totally, definitely, do this. Let's, let's go. Yeah, let's make it happen. Okay. I think this is possibly the best case scenario here, so let, let's, let's do it. Okay, this is a really, really good situation. The general has plonked himself here, isolated himself on this hill, and that gives us an opportunity to arch the hell out of all of his guys. Remember, we have superiority of of ranged units, so let's do it. We need to isolate him and definitely get some get some arrows on him. Let's get our guys up this way. We want the high ground, and we want to do as much damage before the reinforcements come. You guys, fire into them if you please. Okay, general means business. Yes, he does. Uh, guys, come around this way. To hell with it. I'm having my general get in there. This guy needs to die. So us arching him down like this here is very good. Oh, come on! Honestly, my Foderati are beyond pants. But this general is taking some heat. Okay, my left side is just is wrecked. Totally wrecked. But that's... Oh, that's, that's not quite fine. Come on. If I can bring this guy down, it will have been worth it. Eleven of them left. Let's go. Let's go. The enemy general is running away. No, no, no. He's not allowed to run away. Come on. But in battle, it's beyond belief. He's not allowed to run away. Come on. The army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Oh, come on. We were so close. He's not allowed to run away. Can you... What? The whole army's running. What the hell? How does that work? Oh, okay. This this is something of a failure, I think. We didn't get the general. We lost some folks, some men. And the bulk of their army is intact and managed to get away. This is... I mean, is it though? Is it? If we'd killed that general, then for sure. This would have been a great, heroic, Spectacular victory. Oh wait, did, did we kill him? Maybe we did. Of course, because we killed, we got 85%, didn't we? Maybe that worked, maybe, so maybe that was it. Okay. Then that leaves the faction leader. Oh yes. 
Can we do it now? This is the question. This is what it's all been about. I think we can. Before, he had an even army, an army on the same kind of level with them, Oppius Flavius, but this time, he's got like a third of the number that we've got here. Plus, we can arch him the hell down before these guys even get to us. Plus, what other pluses? I mean, that, that's about it, really. <laughs> let's uh, let's take a look. Petronius. I, I would have liked some better traits on this guy, beyond fond of rivaled rhymes. Like I'm surely he, he's fought like two victories now against the Huns. Wouldn't he have something else? But anyhow, we can't be picky. Let's go. Let's take out this faction leader. This might. This is good. This is good. This is not very good, but if we can do this... If we can do this, guys, then this very well might be the end of the Huns. Let's... Yeah, let's, let's see what we can do. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on, Petronius. Okay, so... It didn't occur to me that he's on a river crossing, which means that this is effectively a bridge battle in which we're the aggressor. So maybe this isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Archers. Move, archers. I mean, come on, it should be alright, right? Let's get our guys across there, start arching. Do some, do some work. Yeah, come on, this is, this is a stream, this isn't a river. Alright guys, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Remember, the more hits we get on this guy, the easier it's going to be when we actually have to take him down. Because he is something of a tank. Okay, try and stay out of the water if you can. But yeah, this is this is good. If we can arch him down from all directions. This is good. When it actually gets time to fight him, then he's just gonna be like a normal unit instead of just this insane tank. Alright, you guys. Doing good work there. Excellent. Good stuff. Let's keep it going. Gotta watch out for them. Alright, you guys. Yeah, firing on the other warlord, please. Come around the back of it. This is great. Right, they want to follow us across the river, do they? Guys, don't go into them. Don't go into them. Alright, let's come around this way. Let's keep the, the firing going. This is really good. From like 80-something, we're down to 50. This is brilliant. Now remember, the important thing is here, these guys are not allowed to run. Running equals no no. Don't know what they're doing. Oh, this is great. This is great. And there are the spearmen back there. Okay, could it be time to send in my infantry? Let's let's see. I think so. If he charges them, I don't think he's going to survive. Why does he get... Why does he get more experience when he's being shot at? I don't, I don't know how that works out. But anyhow, this guy is not looking in, in a good way. Neither is his number two. Okay, we're doing really, really, really well. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going.
Remember that it's not over until it's actually over. Let's get our spearmen involved as well. Did we... We... Uh, did we get him? I think we got him. I think we got him. Did we get him? Is that him? Or... Did we get the other guy? I'm not sure. But whomever we got... Come on, guys, come on. I need you to get a move on. No. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to go. You're not allowed to go. Come on. Come on. They're not allowed to run. Oh, God. Why do I always do this to myself? Why do I always do it? Okay, look here. There's one here. That's not him. It must be the main general. I think we did it. I think we took out the faction leader. No, I think oh, I think we took out the other guy. I'm crying out loud. We, sh we should have engaged. I'm crying out loud. When? Why do I never learn the lesson? My God. Okay, well, if this is right, then oh, we can't get 85%, can we? I was going to say, if we could get to 85%, this army would disintegrate, but no, we, we can't. Oh, come on. Come on. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. We killed one general. I don't know if it was the general. I don't think it was. I think it might have been the factionaire. But... This is progress. This is... In fact, this is huge. There, that is huge. That's... You're really good. Okay, we are... We are actually hunting the Huns. I don't believe this. I do not believe this, but this might work out. Yeah, we didn't get the... Did we get Karnak? Victory and glory! God damn it, we didn't get Kandak. We did not get Kandak, but... We will get him. Because he's got nowhere to run to... Oh, for crying out loud, he does. He's got an army. Uh. Oh, would have been okay. If he doesn't join up with his army, then we can take him on. We maybe we can. Maybe we can't. Maybe we can do this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. This is what we're gonna do. Petronius, leave all your infantry. It's gonna be some horse-on-horse -horse action. Oh, come on! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. If you guys fight him... Oh, yes. Then Petronius is going to be pulled in as reinforcements. I will take it. I will flip and take it. He's only got seven. We just need to kill him. That That's, that is the qualification for victory here. That is the requirement. Let's go. Captain Gaius, we know you've been plonked in this, in this uh, fort for, like, ages, and you're the remnants of, uh... Is it Flavor Flav's army? But... Yeah, you're just gonna have to, yeah, just kill seven guys, or rather one guy. That's all you gotta do. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Believe. We have to be aggressive here. I think this has been the problem so far. We haven't been aggressive enough, but we are now. Let's go. Oh, you bet they're in time. All right. Petronius, get in there, my guy. Get in there. Oh! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out. Come on. Come on, take this guy down. There he is. Oh, no, no, he's not running. He can't. He can't run now. There he is. There we go. There we go. This is what we wanted. Alright, Petronius, just do some cleaning up, please. Oh, man. We needed that. We needed that. Lovely. And this army... Oh, yeah, this army's gonna be wrecked. There we go. Okay, let's uh, just wrap it up. They are not soldiers. Only frightened rabbits running from... There we go. 
What a brilliant gamble, and it worked. Mm. Is that it now? Is that the last of the general's units? Let's see. We did it. We did, we flippin' did it. We hunted the Huns. Every true Roman will rejoice to see the overthrow of these people. Our followers have done well in wiping out this dangerous foe and threat to Rome's glory. You bet. Oh, yes. Thank you, baby. Oh, my word. Okay. Okay, that's what we wanted. That is what we flippin' needed, guys. Well done. Well done, everyone. I want to thank Tertius. I want to thank uh, Petronius Palmer. He deserves another star for that. There, come on. Yeah, he, he give the man another star. Come on. I want to thank Captain Gaius for having the uh, perspicacity decide to pop his head out the uh, fort. Well done to you. Well done, everyone. Okay, that was that was brilliant. Man, that we we needed that. We really needed that. Uh, who are you? Illus. God, Gaitolicus. Okay. You look young, you look cool, you look Christian. Let's see if we can be bribed. Can you be bribed? Let's see, let's get a let's get a diplomat to bribe him. Yeah, we need we need we need more. We need we need more young Christians in the in the Empire. In fact in fact we if we could form like a, a young a young male Christian association, I think that would be that would be good. That, that, yeah, that's what we should do. We should form a young male Christian association. Anyhow, let's call it a turn, see what the computer does next. Because there's no more Huns about, so I'm happy with that. Let's go. Yep, 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 it's all good. Let's go. What the flip? Okay, wasn't paying attention to London. Dear friend. Okay, the Sarmatians won an alliance. You got... I don't think so. Yeah, sorry guys. I, I'm i happy being time. trade partners, but not so much being allies. Okay. The Burgundians, just annoying people. Just, let's just keep an eye on who they are fighting, if anyone. It doesn't look like any of those stacks are going down. Which means maybe they're not. Maybe they're just looking for a place to settle. As we said before, let's hope it's not down south. Our fleet is under attack. Uh, what? Oh god, yeah, my fleet. My fleet outside London. Ugh. Oh, come on. What? Pirates are really kicking off now, aren't they? I'm not going to have to sort out a navy, am I? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, um... Yeah, let's get old Tertius back in here. Uh, wait, what needs... We'll get Tertius in here. And give his army a proper retrain. You guys have done really well. Christmas bonuses for the lot of you. Uh, we'll get old Petronius as well. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll send his army... Actually, what about you guys? Salona? What was Salona doing? I have no idea, but Salona looks like it needs to be conquered. Come down here. Petronius, you were on a roll. And if they've just got peasants in here... Then, uh, yeah, feel free to retake Salona. Okay, more importantly, what's going on here? We've got plague. Not good. We don't have anything important here, which is fine, so let's just keep it that way. Okay, what is going on outside London? Um, Atlas, lay siege to the place. Besieging settlement, sir. Besieging settlement, sir. And Captain Ventialanus. Uh, come round here, and just, uh, just support. Cordoba's unhappy again, no surprise there. I swear in every iteration of this game, Cordoba is always unhappy. Um, up here's the honest, do you want to get rid of some peasants? Yep, there we go. Nice little auto. Uh, yeah, so you're moving there, you guys were being repaired. Uh, what are you doing, Mr. Spy? 
Mr. Spy, how about you come and sp uh, come, yeah, come down here quickly. Let's see what the Western Roman rebels have. Oh, come on. Three friggin' general's units. You can basically forget all of this here. This is the army. These three munchkins, these three baldies, are, yeah, they're gonna cause trouble here. Let's see what, oh, we've got freaking large stone walls as well. So we're gonna have to wait for them to come out at us. We might have to apply the take down the Hun leader tactic of just arching them down from afar. In fact, I'm fairly certain we'll have to do that. Oh boy, okay. Okay, okay, why are you not at the front of this here, honestly? There we go. Uh, Smurmium, you're fine. Do we need to build anything? I'm thinking now, now we've got a bit of stability here, we can start maybe disbanding some stuff we don't need, and start focusing on some stuff we do. But like what? I'm, like, econ we need economy, we need growth, like everywhere across the empire is critically un underinvested. So yeah, let's just, let's just start little bits. Little bits here and there. Okay, a very, very good turn. So uh, let's end it. See what the computer does next. Oh, we've got inactive people, that's fine. Faction destroyed, that is all f well and good. Uh, let's go. Dear friend. Ooh, okay. So the Franks want an alliance. The Franks are enemies with a lot of barbarians. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's not happening, guys. Until next time. That is not happening. Now the Saxons want an alliance as well, do they? I think the um the really fortuitous thing here, the the really fortunate thing, is us having taken out the Huns like this is is just like one less headache that we have to deal with. But now that I think about it, we're not technically at war with anyone. Which is uh, itself a bit of a scary thought. So the question is, do we consider going after the Eastern Romans now? Or do we wait to see what happens with respect to the, all these barbarians? Like, if we get another one entering our territories, then um, we're going to have to respond to that. Uh, all right, Petronius, lay. Hang on, can you get inside? Twenty-eight percent. Come on. Searching for clues. Okay. Oh, someone's come of age. Servius Flavius. Hello. All right, Servius, do me a favor. Imperator. Get into our lay. And like, just start Christianizing. Do some proper Christianizing in there, if you please. Okay. General. Petronius, I think it's time, buddy. Attack. Lay siege to Salona. This might be a long, drawn-out one. Will this work? I mean, maybe. Let's see. Sir. Let us see. This, this could be a long, drawn-out siege. Yeah, th th that's better. Alright, Tertius, your army is looking brilliant and ready to destroy something but I just wish we knew what to destroy maybe Thessalonica maybe not sure anyway let's take a look at London uh, so you guys can join up with Atlas and yeah there we go all right Atlas I want that place please I want London back I don't like that we lost London uh, let's see. Dull Rider, how are we doing? We're getting there. We are getting there. Okay, so Dull Rider is one of the settlements we need to watch out for. Um, what's going on here? Oh, it's because we disbanded some, um... We disbanded some units, isn't it? And this place wants to grow. So go on then. Grow. And yeah, just drop the taxes a smidge. Vicus Alemani, how are you guys doing? You're getting there as well, slowly but surely. 
Oh uh, wait, slowly but surely? Yeah, 35 to 25. Yeah, just keep it going. Keep it going. Alright, you guys are permanently unhappy, we knew that there. You guys are picking up the trend of being unhappy as well. But you are definitely Christian now, which is good. What else can we do here? I mean, in terms of unhappiness... Squalor's the big one. Squalor and distance to capital. Paganism a little bit. But paganism's going down. It's just, it's squalor. I think as the settlement's getting bigger, squalor's becoming more of an issue. But I, I... I don't really know what I can do. I can't afford to build aqueducts to address this stuff, because I have other settlements that need the money. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that. Um, RPS the Honest, we were moving you... Ba what the hell? What the hell? Is this the remnants of the Berbers? Say what? You became a... An absolutely jacked stack of rebels. What the hell? And you caught us in an ambush. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to resolve this. Retreat! Yeah, we kind of saw that coming. Okay. Well, we might have to deal with these guys properly. That was not cool. That was not cool at all. Um, the Carthage is gonna be fine. Uh, can we... Yes. Can you be bribed yet? Be quick. Our patience is l you insult us. Oh, come on. No. He's not he's not cheap. That's what he's telling us. He's telling us he's not cheap. He's not cheap and easy. Um, I think I want to do a bit of spying and just see the scope of what the um Sarmatians have. So they got that. We're still neighbors with the Goths. They're neutral. It's fine. In fact, let's just take a look at the political situation. Like who's frenemies with whom? So the Saxons, we're enemies with the Franks, and the Burgundians. Okay. The Burgundians are enemies with the Franks and the Saxons. Okay, the... Fra the oh, that's the Roxolani. The uh, Franks are at war with all of them. Uh, the Roxolani are further that way. We'll trade partners with them as well, that's good. Yeah, so it's, um... I think it's gonna be a case of deciding who... In terms of the balance of power, who who, who we could do without. See, we're, we are... We're stronger than all of these guys, that's good. In fact, that's really good. That's really good. But... the hell? We're weaker than the Eastern Romans? Alright, that's not cool. They don't have any either allies. They don't have any enemies either. And can I use that? I'm not sure. I think, though, we need another turn of peace. Let's see if we can get London back. Get London, see if we can get Salona, and then consider yeah, pressing out and, and expanding and stuff. So yeah, let's end the turn again. Death stalks the land, I know, I know, I know. Forgot to move my diplomat. Some goths faffing about. Yeah, so I think, um... While... While we got peace, let's, let's just... Yeah, focus on the stuff we can, consolidate. And then go from there. Roxolani, Burgundy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now, if the Burgundy and the Franks have a slugfest, is that other Frankish army going to come in? It has to. It has to come, like, help out, right? In which case... The Franks are going to get stomped on, but in the process, they might do some damage to the Burgundians. Now, I like that. Okay, Tullia. Sorry, Tullia. Coming of age. Have we seen this? 
Yeah, we saw this. Uh, Death stalks the land. Okay, okay, okay. What were we doing? We're looking at London. We were looking at London. Can we get London? We got one, two, three, and then you two. We got one, two, three. Arch. Okay, if we can arch down, let's let, let's see how we do. Ooh. I think we can do it. We're gonna really have to use our archers. Oh, I forgot. We, I didn't see these actually. We've got Limitana. Yeah, this this should be helpful. Okay, let's see what we can do. Because I want London back. Okay, first blood to us. What do they got? There's some Limitane. Guys, get inside if you please. So it looks like we can go that way, or this way here, which is a straight shot through to the town center. Uh, let's go this way. Okay, slugfest time. Here we go, some Limitane on Limitane action. Honestly, Fodorati are so bad. Honestly. They, just, they they ran before they even got to the engagement. And that's not uncommon for them. They're just... My god, they're just pants. Okay, the Wall of Red. He is getting there. Now, we've got to think about this Generalissimo, this bodyguard. What are we going to do about him? We can uh, do some arching. Maybe get you guys out front. Get our no good Fodorati as well. Okay, the balance of forces is pretty even, so it's going to go to whoever wants it more. And I want it more. I want London. They can't afford to mess this up, really. Not like when there's like a minute left on the clock. There we go. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a hole there we in go. the enemy's hearts. All right, guys, come on, come on, come on, come on. The thing is, as the battle draws on, they get more experienced, and as they get more experienced, they uh, can do more damage to my guys. But with only 14 of them left, 13 now, it is just a matter of time. The last few of them, come on, just take them out, just, just die. Please. Let's speed things up a bit. There we go. We've narrowly won the battle, my days. Okay. Yeah, that, that was a bit of a, a tight victory. Yikes. I mean, whoa, that was close. But London is ours once again. And glory. This land is Roman. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, maybe that was like maybe that was actually quite fortuitous, because now we, I mean, yeah, exterminating the pop exterminating the population isn't always good, but now we can build a chapel and a an arena. We can lower the taxes. And really, yeah, help bring about a proper Christianized population. And uh, we can even start retraining some of this jazz. 
And even start training some more. There we go. And London's happy again. Okay. And then, yeah, that uh, this place should uh, nicely become Christian in no time. Okay, so then the last port of call will be Salona. How are we doing? Can we... What would it look like? We've only got... Hang on, we've only got... Could we take it on now? Let's let's see. Or do we want to wait for them to come to us? I mean, we could. But wait, how would we do it? I mean, would we do wall fighting? Would I lose a lot of my guys on the wall? Hmm. Or do we just want to hold out? Go on, let's see. Let's 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 try an auto actually. Ha! Huh, we did it. Okay. I will take it. Salona, welcome back to the Empire. It's been a while. It has been a while indeed. Okay, but... Yeah, welcome back. Okay, we're gonna have to do a bit of um, exterminating. We've defeated the Western Roman rebels as well. Man, we're just beating everyone today, aren't we? We are just beating everyone. And our army is in big need of a... Uh, re... Uh, that's so what there's 20 of a bit of a reworking. Also, I want to see if we can get Christianity in here right now. If we do that, it's going to be 20, it's going to be down. I mean, uh, we're going to have to get some serious buildings in here. But yeah, let's see if we can do it. So repair that stuff first. And then go ahead and destroy this. I mean, we might as well do it now, right? We might as well do it right now. And then, yeah, we can, we've got, we'll have the arena to uh, make everyone happy next turn. But yeah, I, I certainly think this is the this is the way to go. And then, yeah, let's just get more of you guys to fill out the population. Oh, gly dokly. Well, I mean, this has been quite the turn. Quite the episode. We've beaten the Huns. We have, uh, we, we did lose, but we did regain London. We have secured basically all of our empire. We've also captured Salona, would you believe it? So now the empire is entirely intact. We've got no enemies. Let's just make sure. Yeah, we have the Eastern Roman rebels. Those, those munchkins over there. But just because just they've got rebels in their names, it's the only reason we're at war with them. Besides that, we are actually at peace with everyone else. We've got some decent trade partnerships on the go. So, yeah, who do we fight next? I mean, we do have to take it to the... Byz I, I keep calling them the Byzantians. They're not. To the Eastern Roman Empire at some point, and we might be doing that very soon. But for the time being, I think, um, yeah, everyone has earned at least a year or at least a few months of, um, of peace, of no fighting. The Christianization of the Empire is coming along swimmingly. Absolutely swimmingly. It's like it's happening like one big Mexican wave across the whole the whole empire. So, um, yeah, we, we, we have lost a few battles, but we've won way, way, way more. So things are in order. Actually, let me see. Can I, can I bribe you now? Be quick. Our patience is limited. If we may have a private word. You may have a private word. Well. And we'll take you, buddy. You put it like that. Yeah, when I put it like that. Okay. Now, we don't actually need your peasants. So you can drop them off in Rome. But we will take you. So, be a dear, just pop around this way and um, make your way to Salona and help convert that place to the true faith. Wunderbar. Anyhow, well guys, we are going to take a quick break here. When we get back, we will be enjoying the fruits of our peats. We will be investing in our regions. We will be growing the much needed settlements that needed that have been overlooked because we've been trying to stabilize the whole thing. And we will be deciding on who is going to be the next barbarian faction or faction in general who comes within eyeshot of us, who could do with probably some new management. But let's just say that, that we're not occupying, we're not necessarily taking over, we're not even waging war, necessarily. We're just considering applying some, yeah, new management. Let, let's just call it like that there. But anyhow, that is all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.